Okay, let's take a look at the an example. So let's say that at the end of this year, after all the transactions that happens, at the end of this year, accounts receivable has a balance of three thousand dollars. So notice this three thousand is not really the total of all the sales that happened, because a part of these will be paid off, paid by a uh, customer in the middle of the year. Remember, the general cycle is only a month. So there should be a lot more transactions that happen within the year that has been constantly changing accounts receivables balance. But when it reaches the end of the year, now currently the balance is three thousand dollars at December on December thirty first. Okay. I'm sorry, in August, at the end of August. And then there's an allowance for uncollectible accounts. Again, this is the contra account balance. Before we do the estimation, the balance is zero. Now let's say the company wants to issue a monthly statement. And they want to make sure that they measure up the part potentially will be uncollected later on. So this middle entry here, you see the bracket there, $15,000 is the total credit sales that the company made to their customer. Their sales that didn't collect cash immediately, altogether worth $15,000. And they estimate from prior year's experience that uncollectible may be 2% of those. Okay, so $15,000 times 2%, we estimate that $300 of balance would likely not be collected on time. We're having a delayed payment we're not collected at all later on. So this $300 will fall into the contrary account. Accounts receivable will still have the original amount, but later on on balance sheet, you will see 3,000 listed first and then 300 listed right below it. So meaning the net realizable value is 2,700. This really is the accounts receivable that we really expect to get on time. And this is the first method, percent of sales. We will add up throughout the year or throughout the month. If we want to do a monthly statement, we will just add up throughout the month what is the total credit sales. In this case, it's $15,000. Total credit sales and then determine what is the percentage. So the percentage will be given to you in the problem. Okay, the percentage basically is based on prior experience. About 2% of the accounts receivable may not be uh, actually received. So altogether, we expect there may be, a, there is a high likelihood that $300 of this accounts receivables will not be collected. So of the $3,000 accounts receivable, on balance sheet, we would also list 300 right below it. So overall, the value of accounts receivable that we expect to get on time is $2,700. Okay, by journalizing this entry, we'll be debiting uncollectible <coughs> account expense. So we think of this as an expense of doing business by allowing customers to make the payment later. Okay, this is an expense that we journalize up front, just an expectation of uncollectibles. And at the same time, we'll be crediting allowances account. Again, this is a contra asset account, so it has normal values of, on the credit side. So in the following month, let's say in September, there were $200,000 of credit sales that made in September overall. And again, company wants to issue a monthly statement. We have to estimate at the end of the, this month, September 30th, they also want to estimate the part of uncollectibles for these $200,000 of sales that they made in that month. So again, they times the 2% again, and then journalize this entry. Uncollectible account expense, allowances for uncollectible accounts.